minute you walk into Harvard Stadium, you can sense that this is a sports venue unlike any other. It's almost as if you can feel the history that lives within these walls. It's the oldest stadium in the country, and football has been being played here for more than 100 years. Built in 1903, the home of the Crimson is one of just four athletic arenas in America to be recognized as a national historic landmark. It's simply one of the most beautiful, historic, and iconic stadiums on the planet. The place pretty much exudes history. If you're a person who has perspective of the game and history of the game and has seen a lot of football in the past, it does. It's, it's pretty special to be a part of a, a really old stadium that is, is not like the others. Realizing the history behind the game and kind of realizing who's, uh, who's been here before us is just really special. Its horseshoe shape with Greek and Roman influenced architecture make it an engineering marvel. You know, it's funny, I showed someone a picture of it and they said, where is that? Is that Rome? And, and they weren't kidding. It's, uh, it's the old kind of Colosseum shape, um, like the actual Roman Colosseum. It's pretty unique. And then like the, the plaque at the end of the stadium um, saying that it was uh, dedicated to the joy of manly contest. It's a field of firsts. It was the world's first massive reinforced concrete structure and the nation's first large and permanent stadium for college sports. I mean, when we walk into the locker room every day, there's pictures of every team ever uh, that's played here at Harvard and sort of just looking at the foundation that they've built for us and what they've allowed us to do on this field is really inspiring. It's a pioneer in many ways, but perhaps the most profound is the way it impacted the game of football. Now you can see the distance between the sideline and the stands here is pretty small. Well, it wasn't long after the stadium was built that that close proximity ended up revolutionizing the game we know and love today. In the early 1900s, concerns over player safety were rampant. Football at that time was a kicking and running game that was extremely violent and sometimes even deadly. Colleges began abolishing the game and playing rugby instead until President Theodore Roosevelt stepped in. He organized a committee that would later become the NCAA to institute changes to make the sport safer. The change proposed by Walter Camp was to widen the field by 40 yards. But given the permanent nature of Harvard's concrete stands, that wasn't an option here. Instead, the forward pass was born. It definitely has transformed the game, I mean 100%. You look at the pros now, it's all pro style, uh, pro style offenses, so it's a lot of passing, a lot of spread. Um, and I mean, the game would be 100% different. I think it's just another situation where Harvard was kind of just in the in the midst of history. I think it's pretty cool that it happened here, and that's why that's the, it's the reason why we we have the forward pass. So it's, it's just another interesting part of Harvard's lore. Harvard's made renovations in recent years, but none that have disrupted the stadium's original look and feel. Well, I think it keeps its mystique by being in great shape, yet you know the oldest college football stadium on the planet. And uh, it's a very fine line because obviously the architecture is something that is unique and yet at the same time you have to keep it up in great shape. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes into that, there's a lot of money that goes into that. Um, but our goal is 100 years from now Harvard Stadium is going to look just like it is, only it's going to be relatively new in terms of structurally being sound and something that we can be proud of uh, hopefully for centuries to come.